Hey guys, it is GCSE results day on Thursday and we need to start thinking about the next stage of your life, your A-levels. Now, loads of you are going to have made your A-level decisions already, but it is not too late to change. And this is such a big decision. It shouldn't be something that um, you feel you can't talk to people about or you can't change if you don't think you've made the right decision. Because this is such a massive thing that impacts the rest of your life. If you have a career in mind, something that you know you definitely want to do, like architecture for instance, make sure you are doing the right A-level combination to get on that course. Now it's going to be something you might not expect because for architecture you're going to need your art and design, your maths and your physics. You probably weren't expecting that one, were you? No. But it is really, really important that you have made sure you've picked the right A-level combination to get you onto your future career. When you're thinking about your future career prospects, don't just look at one university. Look at lots of different universities. Now, this doesn't have to be one that you want to go to. You're not committing to anything. But just get a feel for what the universities are looking for on that application forms. If all of them say A-level maths, then I'm afraid you're going to need to do A-level maths. If only half of them say A-level maths, then you probably don't need to do A-level maths if you don't want to. Now, if you're not sure what you want to do at university, that's absolutely fine. You guys are still really low. You've still got your whole life in front of you. You don't have to make all the decisions now. But the decisions you are about to make are important ones. So you need to give yourself the best possible chance at having a really, really successful, bright future. So what you can think about if you don't exactly know what to do are things called facilitating subjects. Now these are subjects that universities love because they're hard. Sorry but it's true. And because they show off lots and lots of different skills. For example, not very many places do a law A-level or a politics A-level or an economics A-level. But if you've got your heart set on law as like a career or as a degree, it would be unrealistic for the university to say you have to have law A-level because so few places do it. So it will look for these facilitating subjects, these desirable subjects, these hard subjects because they show off the skills that they are looking for. The next thing you need to think about is what subjects you enjoy because you're going to be spending the next two years studying these subjects really, really intensely because A-levels are hard and intense, like a lot harder than GCSE. Sorry, not going to lie to you there, because why would I? Um, so if you know you absolutely hate maths, don't do it. Because you're going to be spending two years doing a lot of maths. If you absolutely hate essay writing, don't do a subject that has a lot of essay writing in. So don't do your English or your history. Pick a subject that you're going to enjoy doing. Because if it's a subject that you enjoy, you're going to work hard at it. If you're going to work hard at it, you're going to do well in it. So please, please, please pick subjects you enjoy. Now I know this sounds like an obvious, like a really stupid thing for me to be saying but you'll be surprised by how many people turn up going I hate chemistry in the first day like, well, why are you here why are you doing my subject A level if you hate it so much just just don't do it it's not a good idea just because the place you've applied your first place where you've done your GCSE doesn't offer a course that you want to do doesn't mean you can't do it maybe you need to take a risk maybe you need to go somewhere else maybe you need to travel for a little bit further so that you can do that A-level physics or that A-level law or that A-level economics that you really really want to do this is a time when a lot of things are going to be changing but I'm afraid that's life. Things change a lot. And maybe you do need to take a little bit of a risk, change schools, change colleges, have a bit of a longer commute each day so that you can get the correct A-level combination for you. It will pay off if you put that extra effort in. Okay guys, um, good luck on Thursday. If there's anything I can help you with picking your A-level subjects, um, just ask. I am more than happy to help you with anything that you want. Good luck guys.